Beautiful little fish right here. Oh no, oh no, that's a big gator. That is a big, that's like 10 foot. You see the head on that thing? Oh no. Nah. We got a ton of nice little fish. He went missing? Get away from the room. And it's also alligator mating season. Look at the osprey. Oh my God. Oh, it's got a fish. <laughs> this place is really cool. Like extremely dangerous. Let's see, did I get him? Oh, I did. Look at this. Some really beautiful albino plecas. Welcome back to Rob's Quads, guys. In today's video, we're going to try to catch some exotic aquarium fish from this pond. So, so today, guys, I'm on the West Coast and I'm at a completely new location. I have no idea what could possibly be in this pond, but I stopped by because it looked interesting and I did see some smaller native and invasive fish. So I'm gonna try my best to catch some exotics. We're gonna fish around and see what is going on in here. But before we get into the video, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. And so I'm here with the fish trap in one of my dip nets now the thing is the issue i'm having right now is guys i actually didn't bring any fish food like i just wasn't expecting to do this we came up here for different reasons and so i'm going to try something i've never done before so we have these baits right here these are scented crawfish that you would use for bass fishing and so i figured since i have no bait how am i going to draw fish over to the trap so i'm going to try to throw one of these little craws right here into the bait bag and see if the scent is enough to draw fish into it. I don't know how this is going to go. I really have no clue. Uh, it could be a total bust. It could end up catching a lot of fish. We really don't know. So we'll check this at the near the end once we're done fishing and see how it goes. But after I get this, I got to figure out where I actually want to put this trap. And I think I want to put it in that back corner. I'm going to bring my little net with me just in case. But when I was walking around here, so I did scope out the spot just a little bit while I was here. And I noticed along, along this rock line, there's a ton oh was that a frog there's a ton of little fish down there now you guys aren't going to be able to see them real quick and i also do see a little baby bass it's just a regular pee oh what is that right there something just swam away i got my little booties on right here let me see if i could see any fish or get the sneak on anything i think i just saw some fish but damn this water is pretty deep too but i see fish down here so i'm gonna try to try to catch some for you so I could try to figure out what's actually in here. So there's a lot of fish hanging out by these rocks. I didn't actually catch anything in those nets right there. Got to find where we want to set the fish trap. Right where I was just netting is actually pretty, oh look, you see it? Little fish down there. Dude, I wish I had my longer net. Oh, there's also fish in the rocks. There's a lot of fish in the rocks. You might be able to see this guy. Oh, I see some red down there. There might be jewels here. Look at that. Try to scare him into the net. Did it work? There's a lot of little fish down in these rocks, guys. So it's gonna be hard for me to catch them. But regardless, we're gonna try our best. And I'm actually going to set the fish trap right here by these rocks. Not only because I do see a lot of activity over here, but it's gonna get anchored pretty good. Look, there's so many fish right there. I keep seeing them and they're taunting me by not letting me catch them. So I'm gonna take my nifty little fish trap here. I doubt these guys have ever seen one of these before. And I'm gonna throw this in right here. I'm hoping the scent thing works. I'm not sure if it will, but there's only one way to find out and that's to try to put it to the test. So we got the fish trap set right there. I'm gonna go over to this weed line and I also don't I have no idea if there's any gators here, guys. We are in the stick, so there could be. <laughs> there definitely could be. But I'm gonna grab my net and we're gonna start netting around to see what we can do. If we're gonna start scanning. I do see a lot of mosquitoes. Oh, 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 wait, am I tripping? Is that a piece of wrapper or something? Let me see here. What is that? Oh, oh my God, look at the size on this fish. I think this might be a molly or a platy. This guy was just chilling out up high. We'll see if we could catch any more of these guys today, but beautiful little fish right here. We're gonna get them in a keeper bucket. And I guess we'll keep walking around the bank to see if I could see anything shallow, guys. I really wish I had my better dip net, but. I see a lot of activity by the fish trap now too. So hopefully we end up catching stuff in there too, but I'm gonna grab a keeper bucket and get this guy in some water. Oh, 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 I see some cichlids down here. See a good amount of cichlids right here, actually. Lightning fast, Are we, oh, we did get some, but we also got, oh no. We didn't get any of the cichlids. We did catch a little bullfrog and a mosquito fish here, right? So. I mean, that's cool. I guess we'll release the bullfrog. We really don't need to keep this guy. He's a native species, totally fine. I'm not keeping it. Actually, should I keep it? Low key, I wonder if a fish would eat a bullfrog. Hmm, we might actually try to use it as live bait. I don't know guys, I don't know, don't quote me on that. We're gonna get him in the keeper bucket for right now since I don't really know what I wanna do with him. But guys, that is the a millionth time since I've been here where I saw a bunch of cichlids and they slipped me. The net, it's just, I don't know. It's not really helping me out. The mega net we have has holes too big for these fish. They're, they have to be like a jewel cichlid or something, some kind of smaller cichlid. I can't quite catch any, but I see them. They're still there, they're mocking me. They're making fun of me. They're like, well, look at this loser trying to fish right now they're fast they're so fast oh my god there's so many of them though 
It's only a matter of time before I catch one, right? Dude, they keep slipping me. More mosquito fish. Nothing you guys are really interested in seeing though. Dude. Okay, hopefully that fish trap saves us in the end, guys. Because I keep seeing a lot of fish. They're just super quick. And this mud is super slippery. Thankfully, I have my little booties. But I'm going to grab the keeper bucket while we walk around. Real quick. Let's see if we could see. Oh, big fish right here. Huge fish. Let's see. Can I get one of these? Look at them swimming down there. Let me see. It's going to be a tall task. Sneaking up like a crane. Dude, uh, these must be getting fished a lot, honestly, the way they bug out. But we're gonna keep fishing. I'm gonna keep hitting up these lily pads and see what we could pull up. Oh no. Oh no, that's a big gator. That is a big, that's like 10 foot. You see the head on that thing? Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so I was thinking about abandoning the dip net anyway, just because. Is that its whole head right there? Oh my God, that's this massive gator. Guys, I was gonna abandon the dip net because these fish are too fast for me. Thank God I did, because I think that might be a massive gator. That thing might be huge. Oh, it just went down. It just went down. It was a gator. It wasn't as big as I thought it was. Initially, I thought the back and the head was the actual body of the gator. Like that, there's big ones. You're right, when there are little ones, there's usually big ones too. I just saw bubbles right there. Oh boys, we might be in danger. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch it up just a little bit. I'm going to stand a couple feet back from the bank and throw my cast net because I don't have a long dip net. And we just saw a couple gators. I just saw bubbles over there. So I think there's actually one over here too. There's a pink dandelion. <laughs> be, okay, be careful getting that dandelion. <laughs> that is beautiful though. That's really pretty. Blow it. Oh, really? Here, I'm gonna throw a cast net and see if we pick anything up. I don't know where our little buddy went, but I'm hoping if he comes up, we're fast enough. Well, I know I'm fast enough. Camera girl, it's up for debate. It's deep down there, but we're only gonna take, guys, I really don't wanna unalive myself making a YouTube video. You know, the cameraman never goes, but me, it's not guaranteed. Oh, oh, what was it? Bluegill. <gasps> little baby bluegill. Oh. <clears throat> That's not a bluegill. That's a Sasquatch. It's illegal to cast net bluegills. It's not a bluegill. <laughs> Put it back, please. <laughs> yeah, we want nothing to do with that. But we're going to keep cast netting and see what we could find in here. I didn't know that. Me neither. Until a while ago. But we're going to go over to where we set the fish trap in that area. Because they really like that spot. Who are these people? Guys, we got the gang suckers back. All right, stand back, camera girl. About to whip this one out here. Whoop. That was kind of sad. Going out sad with that one. Yeah, I am. Um, no gator, right? I'm glad I wasn't in the water. I didn't decide to throw on waders and jump around. Let's see here. There's not even like a posted no gator sign or alligator sign. There's none. They're trying to trap me. We're going to throw it in the middle over there. Let it sink all the way down. It'd be really cool to get some more of those fish that we caught early on though. Oh, little Easter carnival right there. No. All right. With that weed. Yeah. What they don't know is I'm fast as frick. You know what we're going to do, guys? We're going to follow this pond. It connects through a culvert, and we're going to see if we could find a location along this where it's a little safer to fish, preferably a small creek. But you see that culvert right there? It definitely leads somewhere. Where? I don't know. But we're going to pick up the fish trap right now and see because gators in the water, I can't see them, and I'm not really doing too hot so we'll just take the uh safe route he, i don't i can't really tell how big he is but we're gonna go to a different spot guys maybe find a sewer dude i don't know i can how big do you think he is he's at least four or five feet yeah he's around four or five feet for sure but we got the fish trap right here it's kind of funny they're setting up like a little carnival right down there but hopefully that's the only gator in this pond and he isn't too excited by fish traps i think what we'll do is since our little spree got cut short here we're definitely going to go to a different location because it's just too much going on oh look at this guy we got a ton of nice little fish here so not too many natives oh we got these little fish he went missing get away from the road get away from the bank just a little bit at least but if you guys look we caught a few more tadpoles we got some of these fish right here now these might be some sort of little creek chub or something and then we got a lot of these little platies or mo i don't know actually if these are mollies or platies because they're just so large like this is massive and we got a couple bullfrogs but cool little spot we just found i'm gonna get them all in the keeper bucket right here and then we're leaving we're gonna find somewhere else to fish you know this is part of the reason why anytime i'm on the west coast i don't make videos freshwater guy because this isn't like the first time on the west coast of florida for those of you who aren't from here oh i just dropped a cichlid in the bucket i'm back 
Look at this guy. Come on, let me. Look at this. I didn't even see him. I was... Look, it's a little African. So this is a little baby finesta cichlid we just caught out of here. So you know what? That makes total sense. There's so much rock coverage here. They could really do whatever they want, but the gator disappeared. It's so funny. They're setting up a kids thing. Like I would tell them, but they probably already know and don't care. Because you know, it's Florida. Native Florida people just don't care. But we're going to get the rest of these guys in our little bucket right here. Little tadpole. Little native looking fish thing. Oh. And you just fell in the bucket. Oh, perfect. Oh my God. One of my hooks got in the bucket too. Well, we're going to move to a different spot, guys. Some really nice fish off. Fire ants? Fire ants. Oh no. Fire ants. Fire ants. <laughs> oh no. Well, regardless guys, we caught some really nice little fish here at this location, but the gator is going to mess it up for us. So we're going to get on out of here and go somewhere else. All right guys. So before we go back out, I actually came back to my mom's crib real quick to pick up these fish and just get them in my brother's fish tank. So right here we got these fish. Now I will be bringing these back to the house once I go back to the house. But for right now, we're just going to get them added in here. We got some nice little fish and some bullfrog. I don't think we caught too many more fish. Let's get the rest of these guys out in here. Just another few. And you guys are seeing this, seeing a tank at my mom's house. And you're like, why don't you just move into your mom's house? Well, I'll tell you guys in a couple minutes why that's not really an option so as you guys know my house is actually an HOA as well well this one's an even worse HOA you're not even allowed to fish in this community and then on top of that the yards are smaller they actually care about the way your backyard looks it's a lot different and then there's also no space inside the house for any tank there's no space on the back porch for any tank there's no space in the garage for any tanks there's no space in any of the rooms for any tank so that's the main reason why and then you guys might be wondering like Rob why doesn't she co-sign or anything? Well, she doesn't want to. She'd rather just let me suffer on my own with no help. Even though it costs her no money, she doesn't want to do it. But anyways, this is my brother's tank. He likes to keep goldfish in here, but right now he's got no fish in it because it's been cycling. So this is going to just get some bacteria in here before he gets them this following week. I thought about getting him some fish, but he actually already ordered some. So real quick, I'll show you guys what the garage is looking like. And we're going to be going back out to fish a different part of that canal. Hopefully one with a less aggressive gator. Camera girl got real close to it and the gator was not intimidated at all. It was scared of me, but not of her. But obviously it's because I'm like, so huge and massive and handsome. I just checked the bucket and there was actually one of these little cichlids left in there. So we'll just get him right in there. He's looking real good, but these guys are gonna just chill. I'm actually gonna cut off the lights for right now, but I got Nikki this tank as a Christmas present and he loves it. So very nice, very nice. I'll show you guys the garage real quick so you kind of get an idea of what we're working with over here. Just to give you guys an idea of the space in the garage, like theoretically, if there was nothing in here, it could work. But again, my mom's house, she needs her own garage space. And I also would have to keep my truck in the garage because not only is the HOA super stringent outside in the backyard and the side yard, there's not much space on either side. The houses are super close to each other and you're going to be like, Rob, HOA is blah, blah, blah. Guys, in Florida, there is like 99 times out of 10, 99.9% .9 times out of 100, you're going to have an HOA. That's just how Florida is. But on top of that, there aren't allowed any pickup trucks. Like if I were to park my truck outside or on the street, I'd get fine. Anytime they find it, they'll find it. So I have to keep the truck in the garage if I were to live at my mom's or sell my truck. And there's no way I'm getting, getting rid of old shack. But yeah, that's why my mom's house doesn't work. So more of the story is I'm out here thugging on my lonesome because nobody wants to help me, even though she totally could. She, talk, she started talking about getting a new car the other day. And then I looked at her crazy because I was like, you get a new car before helping me? What the flip, dude? But either way, we're gonna go back out to the canal. The other problem is there's a lot of panthers here, so at night is not really an option. Like out of South Florida, this general location is where they are the most. There's a, like a refuge not too far away. No nighttime filming here, because not only are there a lot more gators, there's also panthers, mountain lions, if you call them, different part of the country, so we're not fishing at night. We'll go back out in the morning. <laughs> I'm crying and homeless. Right now, guys, I'm looking for a spot to continue on this canal. And literally, right here, right where we are, there's a baby gator just staring at us. And it's also alligator mating season. So, you know, I mean, this is, this is risky business. He's very cute, though. Look at him. He's so cute. He's only like two and a half foot. But you can see this canal continues down this way. And it's super deep, probably, I'm guessing. But there is also a chair right here. So I'm sure somebody's fishing it or maybe feeding the gators. But on top of these creeks right here and this one right there, 
it continues down this whole stretch of road. There's also this little creek right here that looks a lot less scary. So we might try to do something in this creek. I do see some fish movement. Literally, as soon as I was saying this looks like it has gators, we found one. <laughs> we found a little baby. Guys, the really cool thing is this, this is literally prop part of the Everglades. The Everglades is literally this is on the Everglades, um, but you can see this canal looks so cool. There's constantly fish popping up right here. So I'm going to just throw the cast net because we also don't know where Buddy's mama is. But it's kind of funny fishing right next to an alligator when they're so close. Oh, he just dipped. He just dipped. <laughs> you saw the cast net. I'm sure people do try to catch them. I am not one of them. I realistically do not want to be doing that, but we're just going to see what we could pull up in a cast net. I'm going to get a fish trap set as well, but if we don't catch anything in this net, I did see right down the canal, a lot of fish blown up. Oh, we did catch fish. Look at this. We got a little blue, blue gel, little native cichlid. Let me just cut real quick. <laughs> No, you can keep recording. I thought you said you can't. Yeah, I mean, I've never gotten in trouble for it. So we got this little guy right here. We're gonna get him back in the canal. It's interesting, you can see the water super dark because his colors are super, super dark, but we're gonna get him back in the water and water keep on. smells bad. It does smell pretty bad. But also, look at this, guys. Somehow we were able to pick up, oh, a mosquito fish? And a bugs. bunch, no, these aren't actually water bugs. These are cane toads. Oh, they're tadpoles? Yeah, these are tadpoles. These aren't the native species like we were catching earlier. These are just invasive cane toads. Little little boys, little bugs. But we're going to pick, we're gonna pick up the cast net. I want to try to get it out there because there's a lot of activity. But there's also a lot of activity right there. So I'm going to set take another cast net real quick right before we set the fish trap. And guys, I want you to note something. Notice how fast that gator was here and disappeared. And now we have no idea where he's at. That's why I'm not getting in the water. Because <laughs> he was a little guy, but the big ones could do just the same thing. We're going to head down this way and see if I see anything, I'll let you know. But there's a lot of fish popping. So I'm sure there's something in here. Yeah, look how many cane toads there are. Try to zoom in on that so they could see. Yeah, <laughs> there's like millions of these things. But look, look at this. Look at this. You see that? Here, stand back a little bit, please, camera girl. I'm gonna try to get a little closer and I'm gonna throw this. Let's see what's popping. Perfect little cast net. I don't know how deep this canal is, but we're gonna see what we could do. Look at the osprey. Oh my God. Oh, it's got a fish. <laughs> this is cool. This is cool. But that should have bottomed out. Let's see, anything in the net? That's so weird. We just saw. I mean, you guys saw too, a bunch of fish popping, but we didn't get any of them. This water must be really deep. Let's see. We'll keep trying though. I might set another fish trap. Actually, I definitely will set another fish trap. And maybe we'll start trying to net that other creek that we could see in. Yeah, let's investigate. Because at this point, we're just exploring these alligator infested water. <laughs> this is truly insane. I do see a lot of fish. Look, you see those fish right there? And those fish right there? Those look like mollies. Those do look like mollies. Okay, so maybe we'll set two more fish traps actually. Let me see, is there, I'm gonna try cast netting over here one time, but we are going to set two cast nets guys, or two fish traps, and one on each canal just to see what we come up with. I do need to get more bait though to do this. So we'll run to a Walmart. But there's fish popping out here. Perfect little cast net. Whew. All right, I'm just gonna let this sink. We'll see what it do. It's going into the deep depths. Yeah, it's going into the depths to Davy Jones' locker. <laughs> this place is really cool, like extremely dangerous. Oh, I think I'm snagged on rock. Uh, no, that actually might have been a gator. Yeah. I think I think I did catch. I caught something, but we did actually snag a gator just now. But oh, what? <laughs> Huge tilapia and a gar, but these aren't what's making that popping noise. Like all this popping, I'm pretty sure it's just like in the Everglades spots, guys, where there's a catfish. He just gronk spiked the bluegill. I'm so sorry, buddy. But I'm actually thinking about it now. We might try to use the tilapia as bait. I think we're gonna set three fish traps. Two of which I'll have cat food in it. One of which I'll put some tilapia in it and see what comes through. We're gonna do one last cast net before we run out to grab some bait for the fish trap. So let's see here. That was money. That was fire. That was gas. Oh, dude, there's so many fish popping. But I'm gonna let this sink all the way down. Look, one just popped right there. This is a cool spot. Really dangerous. Literally looks just like Louisiana or what I'd imagine. Let's see here. Oh, oh. There we go. We got some fish here. Plecos. These wouldn't be the ones making all that 
bold jive though. Got some tilapia and some plecos, but the plecos? I mean, it could be plecos making that popping sound, but I don't think so. Oh my God, <laughs> these tilapia. Damn, Robbie would be in heaven right now. Hey, get out of me costnet, please. This is a nice size little pleco though. Is that the only one in the, nope. No, there's two. Two big old plecos. All right, well, we're gonna get these guys somewhere and we're gonna get some bait and then set some fish traps guys because this canal is really alive i don't believe it would be plecos doing that i think it's something else real quick guys i was going back to bring the cast net in before i get those guys back but look at them that's how they're able to move across bodies of water if a bird drops them or they get out of water they could literally something big just blew up right there dude look in the canal to our left it's still popping this is gonna drive me crazy until we catch what's actually doing that i know that it's not these plecos but the plecos are literally that one one's literally just standing like posted up. I can't help but take one more cast net right here. Do you hear that? I just heard gunshots very far off. But we'll take one more cast net in this bigger canal right here. Here who? Is that the osprey? Oh, there's something big in this canal. There's like big catfish or something. Let that chill a little bit. Look at that, look at that, look at that. What is that? No. Wait, is there something in here? Yeah, a stick. Yeah, a stick. You're right, I did catch a stick. Whatever it is making those popping things is really good at not getting stuck in a cast. But we're gonna get those fish back in the water and continue on our journey. Oh, look, there's a lot of little fish right here. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna set these traps and keep exploring. I'm just trying to figure out where exactly I want these next two traps to go. And right here is pretty good. Matter of fact, let's set it over there. See if we could catch any of those fish that are jumping because they've been jumping all morning. I actually want this stick so I could anchor it. But let's see if we can't catch any of those guys. I did see some turtles, so it's kind of risky setting some fish traps. I'm gonna set it right here. Okay. Okay, you know what? This is, this is good. Okay, that's pretty deep down in there, so nothing should be able to run off with that trap. So we're gonna grab the second one and set it in the other creek. There's so many tadpoles, we're probably gonna end up with like a bajillion of those things. But I've not seen any gators in a while. Let's see here. This one, we did see, where did we see those mollies? Yeah, there's, over, oh, I mean, there's kind of everywhere actually. And I don't think I need to set this trap and anchor it because it's not really deep. It's pretty shallow actually. It's like a gator just starts lunging out from the water. Oh my God. Camera girl, guess what? There's a million cane toads. Like babies? Like babies. They are, they're <laughs> the grass is literally jumping right now. Where? Look, in the middle. Oh, it's a Dalmatian. <gasps> I'm getting my net, I'm getting my net. Actually, matter of fact. Drop that in the middle. Yeah. Can they see the Dalmatian? No, you can't really see any of them. I think I just dropped the trap right on them. Dude, that is crazy. I didn't know they had Dalmatian mollies out here. Oh. Dude, man, do I wish I had a longer net. There's a lot of mollies in this creek though, so I think we'll be- Right there. Where? Right there. Yeah, right in front of the trap. That's so crazy there's a Dalmatian though. Oh, look guys, there's like millions of these little tiny toads. You see that? Newborn baby cane toads all over the place. Damn, I really want that Dalmatian molly now. Oh, all right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this trap sit for a while, let it hang out, see what, oh, there it is. There, I'm gonna keep an eye on it. I'm grabbing a dip net. Do you still see it? This one fish is worth this little excursion. Where's he at? Yeah, I see him pretty good. I think I got him. Let's see, did I get him? Oh, I did! Look at this, oh! <laughs> Look at this, guys. Beautiful Dalmatian molly. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take all these mollies back to the house real quick, and then we'll come back and check out the trap. Oh, there's a lot of nice mollies in here. Look at this guy, though. Beautiful Dalmatian molly. All right, let's go back to the house and come back out. Part of the reason why we're doing it that way too is guys, this is right next to a bunch of trailer parks and camera girl is a pretty little white girl, little blonde, so don't want to risk anything, but. The gate is on my biggest fear. <laughs> the gate is on your biggest fear. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they're not? Yeah, she has a really big fear of being trafficked, so. possible when you're a little white girl, when you're just a little young girl in general. Yeah, no, you're totally, totally valid. Yeah, they'll be on air. We're gonna get these guys in our little keeper bucket right here. That is crazy. 
Hopefully we catch more of those. But we're gonna go back to the house right now and get it into my brother's fish tank just for safekeeping as long as well as those mollies. And then we'll come back and check the fish traps. Are you recording? Yeah, look at that. What are, I'm gonna try to get a look at them to try to see. Dude, they just move so fast. Camera girl thinks they're gar. I don't believe so. Gars don't really pop like that. But we got a third trap we're gonna set in this area because catching a Dalmatian molly is huge. We haven't caught anything more exotic than that yet, but I think there's actual, oh, there's another one. There's another one. Oh my God. Okay, keep an eye on him. I'm gonna set that trap right there. Oh my God, there's another one. Right, I'm gonna keep an eye on him. Yeah. <laughs> Got my dip net. It's going out into the middle, you say? Coming back. Coming back, where is he? Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, I see a little red fish next to him. I think he escapes. You see him? Yeah. All right, well, we'll see if the fish trap could get him. In a way, I just saw a spider walk on water. You saw a spider walk on water? That's my new fear. I'm off. <laughs> right here is a little one. A little Dalmatian? Where? Where? No, I just saw him. I just saw him. He did. I'm going to push this trap out a little further. Someone definitely dump those in here though. Push that out a little further. I see a ton of moths. Oh, I see another Dalmatian. I want you and I need you. Yeah, this is crazy. Do we have another fish trap? Fuck it, free. Dude, we'll set a fourth one. We'll set a fourth one. Those fish are driving me crazy. Whatever they are, they just do not want to be caught. But let's see if we got any in the first fish trap right here. This is the first one we set. We set a total of four. I set one right before you left to try to see if we caught anything. And in this first net, I mean, the only thing I'm really looking for aside from exotic would be like mollies. But let's see. Oh, God. Dude, that is just a disgusting amount of mosquito fish and frogs. Look at that. Oh my God. So many. I'm just going to throw all of them back. Let's see if there's any mollies or anything cool in here. It's not looking like really caught any mollies or exotic fish in this one. This one is just full of basically nothing. So we're going to move on to the next fish trap. We pretty much just caught a bunch of little frog soup. Oh my God. Well, it's cool. We got three more fish traps to check and those fish are still jumping. Let's see. We got three traps. One, two, three. Let's see. Oh, there's so many mollies. Guys, go in my fish trap. I'm going to grab my net and see if I can try to grab one or two. All right. Let's see what it do. I'll take a stab at it or not. They all just swim away, but we got our next trap right here. Let's see if we caught anything nice in this. This is a brand new spot, guys. So we really don't know what we could catch here yet. Ooh. Okay, looks like this trap. Oh, this trap's the one with a huge gaping hole on the top of it. So potentially some stuff could have escaped, but right now it just seems like more of these massive a mosquito. Oh, where's the molly? <gasps> no, that's just a huge mosquito fish. <laughs> But yeah, and next trap, more of the same, just a lot of mosquito fish. So we'll just get all of these guys back in the water. They're a native species. And all right, it is what it is. We'll go to the next trap. I got a lot of fresh water here. So if we do catch something nice, we'll be able to get in some nice water immediately. I haven't seen any of those platies. Oh, oh, wait, where? Damn, there's a cichlid. But there's also, I think we did get one of those really nice platies in this trap right here. Oh, we caught a few of them. Oh, oh my God, they're huge. Look at this, look at this. Well, they just fell out the side. Oh no, oh no, oh no, buddy. So we got one of these huge, huge platies right here. Get him in the keeper bucket. And I think I see one more in here. Oh my God, this thing is a juggernaut. Look at the size of this guy. He is massive Oh, and very feisty. Oh, there's another one that fell out. Look, there's another one right here. But we'll get them in this clean water, ASAP Ferg. Some beautiful, beautiful platies. And I think that is all for this trap. Not many fish in this one either. So we got one last trap to check and I see a bunch of big mollies. They're just so lucky that there's, this oh God, that scared me. There's just so much cover here they could hide in that I can't throw a cast net and catch out the majority of them. But we got one last fish trap right here. I guess the mollies didn't really like this flavor of cat food. Yeah. Anybody? Oh, oh okay. We caught a lot more fish in this trap. Look at this. Here, let's go over to our keeper bucket. Look at this right here. So we caught some bluegill in here, but we got these platies, more of them. Oh, and we got some bullfrog. That's really cool, but these platies are what I come here for. We got a bluegill, we'll put him back, but there's three platies right there. Oh my God, there's three more. One. Hey guys, I'm trying to be cool because there's a lot of people out and about, but we got three more of these beautiful platies right here. 
Put them in the keeper bucket. That frog escaped me. But the rest of these, I think we just got a couple more little bullfrogs right here. Put them in the keeper bucket. And everything else, we'll just get back into the canal. But that's pretty cool. We caught some more of those really nice little platies. Not little at all, actually. They're monsters. But we'll get these all back in here. And yeah, we'll bring all these fish back to the house and get them added into that tank. We've got all the fish we've caught right here. I'm going to grab out the mollies first. They're just in this bucket right here. Now, we only caught these ones we got in that one net because I actually couldn't catch any more of them. They caught on very fast. But we have this beautiful, beautiful Dalmatian in here. We'll see. Did I pick him up? Yeah, there he is. We got those guys. Definitely bring these all back to the house. You can see the fin nips on them, I'm sure. There's some cichlids in there that we didn't actually get today. Mosquito fish, why not? And I think that's all for that net. Is there anything left in this bucket? Let's see. Get some light on there. And then in here, guys, is all the exotics we caught and some bow frogs. So get all these <laughs> guys. Look at that. These are super, super cool. Boom. Beautiful fish right there. We're bringing all these guys back to the fish room for sure. We got one more. Oh, and we got a couple more of those little wiry looking fish, but some more of those guys right there. And then we got these bullfrogs we're gonna add in there. Another one. Oh, is that, that's another molly. I didn't even see him. We got another molly right there. Put him in there. And then I think the rest of these fish are just mosquito fish and bullfrogs. These I'm actually not gonna add into the tank, but this is all the fish we caught from that one creek. A lot of gator activities. Super cool platies though in that creek and system, as well as some really nice mollies in there and some bullfrog, plus this little Vanessa cichlid we caught. We weren't able to get any more of those guys, but still pretty cool nonetheless. So now we're back at the fish room, guys. It's been a long day. I've been driving for like three or four hours now. And we've got all the platies we caught, plus I went to Phil's and picked up a ton of these super red plecos. And this right here, I'll scoop them up for you. So we got all these guys right here that we're going to be adding into our little pleco tank and these guys are all for sale as you know and i'm also going to be listing the platies we caught as well i don't know what they're going to be going for but all these really big platies right here oh, all these chunky dudes we're going to be putting inside for right now because i'm too sketched out with the outside pond but we'll get the rest of these guys right here and get them added into this tank and there's a big old crawfish in here that i'm going to move into the outside snail pond so that they don't harm this these guys but they're beautiful i mean this is the biggest one out of the group he's all of three inches so these guys i'll get listed up on the site for those of you who want them i got news so i need to move out in 30 days which means i'm going to be selling a lot of the fish and this finesse is cichlid we're actually going to keep in the bucket for right now because we could get him into our little cichlid tank and i think there's one more in here or am i tripping might be big tripping oh no oh it's the dalmatian wait no it's not what is this is this one of those little weird guys nope it's a molly so we'll get him added into the tank as well with the rest of my little mollies and whatnot now for all these plecos what i'm gonna do is guys i have at least 50 plecos in here so i don't know i'm gonna switch this bucket over bop, 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 bop. cichlids now in there and then i got this bucket right here so i'm gonna take this bucket full of plecos right i'm gonna dump all these fish out into this yeah, please hold that for me. Thank you. And we'll see how many plecos are actually in here. Now, I got some bigger plecos in here as well. Some lemon eye bristle nose, I believe. And there's a location I could go and catch some really beautiful albino plecos. So we might be doing that soon. But oh, oh, oh my God, there's so many plecos. Let me make sure they're all out. They love to hang in the bucket. But we got all of these plecos right here. Look at this, guys. <laughs> Look at all of these plecos. Like these are some really nice bristle nose. Look at this guy. Beautiful. So actually what I might do, these bigger ones we might put outside. We've got another even bigger one. I might actually put these with the beta fish real quick. Why not? We'll put two in there with the beta fish. There's a lot of stuff for them to eat. Actually, I'll put three or four in there with the beta fish, these bigger ones. And the rest of these smaller guys will go into the other tanks. But there's a lot of stuff in there to eat. So I'm going to put the really big four inches. Well, they're really like three and a half. But I'm going to put all these three and a half inches in here. And then I'm probably going to put a cone in here. Oh, a little super red maiden in there as well. But I'll also probably put a cone in there. So if they decide to start breeding, they can do so. And then the rest of these plecos, we're going to add in here. Boom. Oh, we got 50 super reds as well as some of these really big bristle nose. They got the long fin gene. So even if they don't show it, their babies could have long fins. I'm going to do water change on that tank right now. But that is it for today's video, guys. Please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications if you did enjoy. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.